do that. <laughs> I, I don't think a child will, you know, yeah. turn me into a monster. I don't Plus, think. Gavin seems like a pretty cool dude. I bet. He, yeah, yeah. He'll take care of himself. Yeah. You know, he's a picky eater. Sure. He likes I, I, video I games. I think that's. I think that's what made me like, which which made us equ- equally connect with each other is that we both ate so much shit, and we found somebody who understands. Sure. It, that. Yeah. And so if we're on the same else, page, right? You, know. you and Gavin. Yeah. Me, Gavin, and Kelly all nice. together. So, and the nice thing is, like, Gavin's pretty small for his age. So if that trend continues, you're you're always going to be bigger than him. So <laughs> right, push comes to shove, like you got him. Um, yeah. So, the wedding is getting well. Closer. He's taking Taekwondo. Right. So I might yeah. Be, oh shit. So. Yeah. Get him out of that. Send him to church. I, I'm talking to the teacher. Like, so this is how I hit him. <laughs> can you can you not teach him how to block that? <laughs> <one move>? yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you just have to stay one lesson ahead of him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so you were talking to John. Oh, so yeah, I was talking to John, and I was saying how I really would like to have a, a really all out crazy bachelor party, and at the same time, like I mentioned, you know, I've been um, reading a lot about kratom and ps- psilocybin. I have another story after this that I want to mesh this into. One story at a time. Uh, Let's stay focused. Yeah, I've, I've been uh, reading. It's the creative man. <laughs> no, but anyway, um, yeah, I've been reading about all this, and I'm, you know, I really think that depression is a. I know, right? I'm convinced reading all this that depression is definitely something that is fucking an AIDS ass virus in my family. Okay. I know it is. Every single one of these fucking people, when you read about like the traits, the th- things that are brought up, the, the being stuck in the past, like and when you every say, single person. When you say AIDS ass virus, you mean like it's it runs in your family? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I meant by AIDS. Sorry okay, gotcha. for anybody confused. That well, you, yeah. you're more well read with like medical terms than I am. So I yeah, just had yeah. To, to clarify, it's, it's a condition, the AIDS ass virus. Right. Yeah. yeah. The AIDS AIDS AV. I, this is Doctor Phil. I mean, I'm here <laughs> to let you know what the AIDS ass virus is, and and right on the dot. Hey, it's going to be a changing day. So, so, all right. So your family has AIDS ass virus, yeah, called depression, and you've been and, reading and, up, yeah. Um, and and uh, I, I, you know, two, uh, two days ago, uh, the FDA approved that uh, psychedelic sh- mushrooms are a very great solution to blocking the chemical that sort of produces depression in the brain okay. which makes me so much want to make a sweet polish mushroom salad for my ma sure. <laughs> and uh you know uh yeah this is the best salad i ever had <laughs> why is everything spinning i love this world so. everything talk to me <laughs> are we in warsawa <laughs> no but um so uh i i kind of really wanted to uh explore I, i've never done shrooms I used to grow and sell them with John. Fun that that that's why I reached out to him. Really? Yeah, we we used to we we sold them in grammar school. <laughs> <laughs> some kids have lemonade <laughs> stands. Some well, kids well, have garage sales. You and John. Well, well we raise. started we started growing them. I think in eighth grade, like between eighth grade and high school, and uh, for the science fair. Yeah, yeah. It it was funny because I remember it. We I had, um, you know how every kid has uh like an airtight, uh plastic box for their legos yeah i just like threw all my legos out and made that like a shroom <laughs> hey, a shroom farm yeah and i and i had it under uh, i had like four of them under my bed and my mom actually would find them and move them aside to clean <laughs> there and she's like this is for science project i can't believe you do, i can't believe you do extra credit philip yeah. is so clever <laughs> yes yeah, so i told her about it now yeah. so but um so wait don't you have to grow that in shit like doesn't it grow in like no, no. dung? Well, what you do is I don't. Okay, for for our fact checkers that love Varg, I'm mm-hmm. um, sorry, I, I don't not know the exact facts. The way I remember it is that you got a certain type of soil that has uh, is much more potent for specifically fungi. Okay, and then you get spores off of shrooms that are already grown, and you sort they're in a I, so so it's sort of like. You know when you eat like, uh, you ever had like boiled mushrooms to eat? I don't think so. I I, I had them at the Renaissance Fair, <laughs> so that's how I know. Are they good? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you you never had like uh, you know when you make like mushroom soup, you have to boil the mushrooms separate. I don't really make mushroom soup. Okay, okay. I don't like mushrooms. <laughs> I I, lo- I fucking love mushrooms, right. but uh, yeah, yeah. No, I it, like 
I think it is kind of a Polish thing too, but but sure. um, yeah, no, I've I've had Polish. I had a mushroom soup my whole life, but um, we, sometimes you boil the mushrooms. Sometimes I would just make mushrooms on their own and just eat them on their own. Mm-hmm. And that water that's in there, it has a lot of uh, you know, like the the spores washing off of it and everything. Sure. So you, it, I think they somehow take that watery in the, you know, there's there's like that fleshy part underneath the cap. Mm-hmm. They take the spores from a, a psychedelic mushroom that's already grown, put it in an eyedropper, and you keep dropping that into the soil. Okay. And it grows from there. And you have to... It's 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 funny how fucking easy it is because it's so much easier than weed to grow because you just... You actually want it to be really humid, really overwatered, mm-hmm. you know, in a dark place. So it's not like, oh, I have to hide this. No, you actually have to have it in a dark place, like right. under, under my bed, you know. Right. Next to my stuffed animals. Yeah, and you have to put your like sheet over it, and you have to like put yeah. your like homework you didn't turn in like beside it. Like you yeah. need that to grow. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so how do they turn out? I remember them turning out great. I mean, I, I, I did it just. I think John wanted. I, I didn't do them. I think I was doing it just for John. Okay. And uh, I, I mean, I was doing it more because I was just interested. I never grew sure, any sure. like vegetables or anything in my it's life. It's not so. yours. You're just doing it for a friend. Yeah, it's not mine. No. Right. Exactly. But, um, so, so uh, you're looking to get back into growing? No, no. I, I just wanted to, uh, after hearing all this, you know, great reviews about how it affects depression and other mental problems, mm-hmm. I, I really think it would help me. You're ready to cure the AIDS I, ass virus. Dude, you want to know the cheesiest fucking thing? Tell and me. I will admit it. Tell me. The biggest thing that I'm afraid of is ghosts. I, <laughs> no, I, I love black metal. Okay. And I think it's going to get me away from it. Oh, no. <laughs> because, because, I, because it goes, because depression and black metal and devastation and doom goes hand in hand. Sure. I don't think I'm going to listen to it anymore after I take shrooms. Well, maybe. Which, which may be a good thing. Or maybe, you know. or, you know. Yeah. Who can say? Yeah. So you're talking about shrooms and it's being approved by the FDA. Yeah. And you were talking to John. And, uh, yeah, he said, uh, he, I actually haven't heard him get excited in a long time, and he sort of jumped up and he's just like, "What does he sound like when he's excited?" Like, "Hey, I'm, hey. I'm excited." No, dude, we should go to Amsterdam, and I will pay for half your ticket if everybody else puts in. And I'm like, "Well, I mean, I, I mean, who else would put in?" He's like, "Well, it's like a bachelor party." And then I started thinking about how much I, I'm busting balls now. Don't want Ross to come. <laughs> 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 right no that's not mean at all yeah 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 I, well so so no well, no well no i mean i i you know i'm thinking about all the aspects like like i'm afraid of tripping bad i've had edibles and it fucked me up sure are, are shrooms legal in amsterdam yeah oh i think everything is legal there i'm not kidding hmm. are fact sure. checkers fact checkers let us know no i'm pretty I'm sure checkers checkers yeah yeah fact checkers they're gonna fact check you on that grammar right, right. there yeah that linguistics yeah way to put that what are you from stupid. sweden yeah. i am and i know this you know yeah. everything you say is wrong yeah do we address like all those comments we got we have we talked about them i i, I didn't think we wanted to oh i don't know well it's up to you i don't care so i think i think our number one was uh gil rasmus and loves uh really hates he said he he knew what type of podcast this is once he saw the skinny gay guy. Yeah, which which obviously I mean I looked at his profile. He's skinny. He has a he has a blonde Hitler Youth haircut and a blonde mustache. I think we have a matchmaker here. I I mean I was really hoping he was talking ha, about me. <laughs> Zig ha. I was hoping he was talking about me like skinny. Yeah, yeah. gay. That means Those I'm well dressed. Those uniforms are so skinny uh, oh, on the buns, right? Mm. Uh, but no, he was talking about Sandry and. Sandra was at that Halloween party and we showed him the comments and he fucking loved it. He was like thrilled like, I'm a star. Right? Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs>